Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I just wanted to do a nice little spring tutorial using my Take Me Back to Brazil palette. So what have I done? I primed my face with the the uh, the new primer from um, I received in my Shop Miss A box. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> my Shop, no, not, not, not my Shop Miss A box. My Boxy Charm subscription box. I use the cover FX. Shop Miss A is on my mind. I must need to order something again. Anyway, <laughs> I use the cover um uh cover FX uh primer. Oh my goodness, it was hard. It was like pulling a tooth trying to get it out of there. But once it came out, um I had to squeeze real hard. But anyway, once it came out and I put it on my face, my face felt so silky smooth it, it is still does so I hope that's a good sign I'm just saying so anyway um I'm going to be using my concealer is the studio pro um total coverage concealer in uh, 120 this right here that I purchased from shop missing so I wasn't really sure if this was my uh my color but I'm going to see right now I mean it looked better on my finger than it did on on the on right here so it's it's looking pretty good right now so let's see this another two oh my goodness I'm just dabbing it on so when y'all know I'm not talking, that means I'll probably be speeding up this video because you know I like to talk throughout my videos, but okay, that's nice. You see that? See the difference between this eye and this eye that I didn't, you know, spread the concealer out? It is concealing. It really is. Okay, I'm liking that. It is kind of a total coverage. It is totally concealing what I want to conceal. Totally. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get on with the video. I think I needed my other brush, but it's dirty, so I have to use this one. I'm liking this concealer. I have to order some more. Yes. Yeah, that's that's not working, so... I'm going to use another brush to blend in this concealer. So since I wasted so much time talking about this concealer that I'm really liking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm going to just go on to the tutorial. Like I said, I'm using the uh, Back to Brazil. Take me back to Brazil palette. Um, I'm also using the the shadow. Wait. Um, the Too Faced, Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24 Hour Cut Crease Anti Crease Anti <laughs> Anti Crease Shadow Primer. This one I had in the the, uh, the box. I took mine out because I can use mine. So you all haven't got yours yet, so I can use mine. So anyway, this is also what I'm going to be using. And um, other than that, everything else will be in the description box below. And I'm going to get on with the tutorial.
I had to start putting my foundation on. <laughs> on last, I mean on first, and putting my brows on afterward because I would always brush off my brows when I'm uh, putting on my own foundation. So I have to put my, found, uh, my foundation on first. Now, Take Me to Brazil palettes are not as pigmented as some other palettes and more pigmented than um, others, but once you, once you build the color up, your desired color, then it's great. I'm going to start with the, the pinks. I'm going to use the pinks down here, not the top one, just the, the first, the last three, build it up, and then I'm going to go over to green and build that up. But you know, here I go. <laughs> I'm concentrating that on my eye, not my eyelid. I'm concentrating this green in the outer V and bringing it all the way to the inner corners. I'm concentrating this green on the outer V and just over in the crease, not over the crease, in the crease. This side seems darker to me. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Still seems that way to me. I forgot I hadn't even did my brows yet. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, that highlighter is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Love this. Okay, I'm just going to stop and do my brows right now. So what I'm going to do is do my brows off camera and then I'll be back. So while I was off camera, I highlight not highlighted, I contoured. And um the only thing I really need to do now is I want to put on this gold um it's actually a lip gloss. This is AOA uh, Wonder Metal 202. Um, this is a lip gloss. No, lipsticks. Because that's what they have on here. Lipsticks, S-T-I-X. But I'm going to use it because it's so pretty. I'm going to use it as an, um, as an eyeliner. Eye eyeliner. Not an eyeliner. I mean, I could. You know, but I'm going to use it as just a, a shadow right now. And that's something to think about. Use it as an eyeliner, a gold eyeliner. That would, oh, that would be nice. But uh, right now, I'm just going to use it as a um, shadow for my lids. And that's it. Oh, goodness. You see how pretty that is? Ah, oh, so pretty. And believe what I say, this, this lipsticks, <laughs> this lipstick just faded out right there. This lipstick is so long wearing. Oh, so long. I actually had did dishes. Cause I love to wash dishes by hand. I have a dishwasher, but yeah, you know, I've, I've never used it. But anyway, um, I uh, I was washing dishes, and I know I had water on top of my hand when I splashed it. But when I was ready to take my shower, it was still there. And after I took my shower, you know, I don't, you know, scrub my body, but I, you know, do, you know, do it, you know, kind of abrasively, but just a little bit. But the, it was still there. I had to really scrub to get that off. And I like that. So, yeah. This is a very good lipstick. You want something long wearing. This is it. The AOA Wonder Metal. Mm -hmm. I tell you, girl, seriously, <sighs> I haven't seen anything like it in a long time that wears like that. Okay. Oh, that is, look at that. That is so pretty. So all I have to do now is I, I have never even tried to put it on my lips because I don't know. It's gold. I just I love gold lipstick, but I just haven't even tried because it was so pretty. It just came to mind that it would look so good on my eyelid and it does. So all I have to do now is put on my liner, which I'm using a pretty vulgar liner, which um, gel liner that was in the this month's boxy charm. Maze Boxy Charm, and I'm also going to use the the brush that came along with it, and um, so that is <clears throat> all I have to do. And the highlighter, you guys know, I will be using the Naked Cosmetic Highlighter because I love that palette. And <laughs> even further, the one that was uh, see, even further damaged this one, which it came damaged. Excuse me, came damaged and uh, this hit me a, a replacement. But I'm talking about this one that was damaged. So even further, it one day the girls were here and it knocked it off the knocked it off the bed and because I had set it right here with me and along with another palette and they knocked it off the bed and right you know what another uh, shadow broke. <laughs> 
I was going to give the other one away in a giveaway. I can't do that now. can't do that now because I have two missing shadows. Two. <laughs> so anyway, let me put this liner on. Oh, look at this. It transferred. I should have let it dry. It's not the... And look, it will not move. <laughs> I should have let it dry because it wasn't dry. So, um, I'm going to put the liner on. Oh, okay. That's nice that I just messed up a little bit. But what I'm going to do is, um, fix all this up. And I'll be back with the finished look. <laughs> okay, guys. So I finally finished this tutorial. And this is the finished look. I think it came out pretty good. I love the gel. Um, the, the two vul pretty vulgar. Uh, Pretty vulgar gel liner. It goes on really, really well, really well. Um, I like to. Um, I really like how it came out. I mean, I'm loving the colors now. Um, like I said before, the the Take Me to Brazil palette is not as pigmented as some palettes, and is more pigmented than others. Um, I had it was no problem blending the colors together. Not for me. And I did have fallout, but what palette doesn't have fallout, seriously, it, they're all makeup, so they're all going to have some type of fallout. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, um, I was answering these questions because of a viewer who wanted to know these things, but I don't use a, usually use a wet brush or a wet sponge. I don't really like using the sponges. I prefer the brushes. And my brushes aren't usually wet, they're usually dry, so I couldn't tell you if they work well with wet sponge with wet brushes or wet sponges. I really couldn't tell you because I don't usually use that. So um thank you also very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I really I really like this um tutorial. I really did. I love the colors. I really do. So thank you all. So very, very much for watching. I, I really appreciate it. You taking the time from your day to come and visit. Um, it is most appreciated. And I hope uh, thank you all so very, very much. Thank my new subscribers. Thank my OS. Thank all of you who are in between. And before you click to that next video, press that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload all these wonderful videos, right? So thank you all again so very, very much. I hope you all are having a wonderfully blessed day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.